Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sammy New, and in today's video, I'll be doing a review slash unboxing of the YSL Opium Heels. My channel consists of beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content. If this is something that you are interested in, please consider to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below. Oh, and I upload every Sunday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So let me give you a little backstory. So I went to the mall to look at the YSL tote and while the sales associate was packaging my order I glimpsed the YSL heels and I decided to try it on. I ended up loving it. I love the way it looked, I love the way it fits and most importantly I love the heel of the shoes because it wasn't so tall. It was about like three inches and I don't want anything above 3.5. Yeah I know. I don't want anything above 3.5 because I'm so tall. I'm 5'8 and I don't want to feel like the giant in the room. I don't want to look like a giraffe so this heel matches my style very much and I had to get it. I didn't leave with it initially but after like two three weeks I decided to call the store and place an order and I got it shipped to me at home but when it came here and I opened the box it didn't suit me at all because the bottom of it was scratched up like somebody had worn it before the suede was a little bit in shambles and the sole of the shoe had so many scratch marks and I did not like that. If I'm going to pay full price, I expect it to be top tier. So I end up calling the store. I mean, I'm spending my money. I can complain, right? So I called the store and I said, I was highly disappointed in these shoes. Can I get a new one? Turns out that they did not have my size at the store. So the sale associate had to put in another order because there were only one more pair in my size which is 41 so I had to wait a little while for him to get it then send it to me so after like two weeks I ended up going to the store to pick it up and he took it out of the box showed me made sure that I was pleased with it he cleaned it every single thing shout out to him thank you so much for everything really appreciate it so let's see if this one makes the cut if not I probably have to call him again but Hopefully, finger crossed, it turns out good. So here it is. Let's take a look. So here she is. And I love the packaging. One thing though is that I, I don't necessarily like buying online because you don't really get the full experience. You don't get the bag that comes with it. You wouldn't get this if it's in the mail. And I think it's best to go into the store if you want a bag because they are not gonna give it to you online. For that, it's kind of disappointing. I would hope that they will put the bag into the box, like fold it up and put it in, but they don't do that. They just give you the box and not the bag. I want everything. I want the full on experience. That's just me, but yeah. So let's open her up. And it retails for $995 and I got it in the size 41. So, paper. comes with its own dust bag so I like that and it comes with a manual that illustrates how to protect and care for your shoes so this is good and the authenticity card here so let's take a look this is her I got the suede heel with the gold line strip here and also on the adjustable strap it's suede with gold strip around it. I really like that. On the sole of the shoes it has Saint Laurent imprinted on it in gold which is fabulous. Heel right here says YSL and it's black. It's very pretty. Let's take a look at the bottom. This looks amazing. Like. 
the one that I got initially you you would have flipped out if you saw the bottom it's like somebody wore it like twice I don't want that because no I don't want to reject okay and the heel it has the YSA emblem on it which is fantastic and it's in jet black and it's a bit shiny too I love it I wanted to go with gold because I think that this one would fit a lot of stuff in my closet it's very appealing to my aesthetic and I love it because I tend to wear mainly gold accessories because because it complements my skin tone which is a, of a golden undertone quite precisely so I might have to research on how to care for suede because I don't want it to tarnish on me because of my own negligence so I have to research how to properly or read the manual how to properly care for suede but other than that I'm good I was a little bit concerned about this strap but when I tried it on in store it felt comfortable but you know you you never can tell about these shoes because they might feel good in the store but when you actually go out and physically walk then you would know like the effect or how it really wears so I am going to put this to the test and see how comfortable it is and how long I can last in it based on other reviews that I have seen there was a little bit of comfort issue to this shoe but if you are going out for dinner so you don't really have to worry about standing up I would say this is like a dress up type of fine dining type of shoe you wouldn't want to wear this out to a party because you would be uncomfortable based on the instep I would not do it yeah this is good and I am happy with this purchase because she is fabulous honey fabulous all right so let's try it on and see hey I don't mind what I'm wearing I'm wearing some active wear from Shein because I'm gonna do a Shein haul or probably it's already up so you can check it out but yeah I'll be wearing some YSL with some Shein sportswear so yeah don't mind me okay So after trying on these heels, I can definitely say that these are not the most comfortable shoes. It's beautiful, but it's not comfortable. Yeah. And it is definitely not practical to be wearing them. Say mm, about 15 minutes standing. I think after 15 minutes is where you can definitely feel the effect of these shoes. I feel that after about 15 minutes that's where the pain starts to really kick in so I'll give it like a 10 minutes in it standing. No more than that but if you're just going for a sit down dinner um, occasion then definitely these are a beautiful pair of heels that you can wear but just not for clubbing at all. I have to be realistic and know that these shoes are for only certain occasions and I will only take them out for that but they are still beautiful and beautiful to look at I would say if you want to go for them you can definitely do but just just don't be in denial thinking that they won't hurt because they will so yeah that's it if you like this video and my content please consider to subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts of these heels and give this video a big thumbs up thank you so much for watching see you in my next one bye